the same time, myself as a learner at school, due to suffering from chronic anxiety, I didn't know I had it at the time, I wasn't a very good student. I didn't have any GCSEs when I left school. I, I was entered for all of them, but I failed them all because for me, sitting at a table against the clock in an exam wasn't how I judged my own kind of ability and my skill set. So, you know, and I only discovered that years later, I actually felt stupid when I was at school. I felt that because I wasn't able to do those exams and I wasn't able to work against the clock and I wasn't able to do my homework, that I was stupid. And in fact, you know, there were words said from teaching staff that might suggest that too. So I, I kind of believed that and we weren't putting tags on people then. It wasn't this whole mental health thing wasn't really about and learning difficulties was a bit more kind of um, restricted as to the tags they were putting on people. So once I realized that, you know, returning back to education 20 years later and doing a master's degree from not having any qualifications at school, um, but just I was accepted onto that through my 20 years or at the time 15 years experience in the industry. And just by then discovering that if I adapt and kind of learn how I know I can learn, I can be 2% away from getting a scholarship to a PhD. That's ridiculous. I thought I was stupid. You know, so when I realized that, yes, I can, and if I can, so many more people can, then that was always kind of a part of the dream for education and base. So first of all, it came about as online music production tutorials to share the secrets and the tips and tricks that we discovered and we made over 20 years. But then as we got into it, and from my teaching experience, I just thought, well, how about we expand this? And how about we create opportunities for accredited pathways where people can come in not judged on their GCSEs and their qualifications, but actually if they have a, a love and a desire for music and they want to learn how to make it, then they should have the opportunity, regardless to the GCSEs. And with the graded syllabus, there's no entry requirements. So it, you don't have to have English and math GCSEs to be able to come on board. If you want to come on board, we will teach you. If you work hard, you will achieve. And that's kind of how it should be.